This is Twit. So, Sebastian, I'm 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 curious. Are are you a a smartwatch wearer? Are you still excited about the whole concept of wearables? Uh, not me personally. I <laughs> haven't worn a watch in so long that. I was like tempted by some of the watches like Samsung has a, a bunch. Obviously Pebble was big for a while. Apple watch is a thing, but I haven't reconciled myself to this idea that I need something on my wrist when I have my phone in my pocket all the time. Mm-hmm. But they're, they're interesting, uh, especially the health aspect, like the Apple watch, like the EKG thing. Why uh, did Samsung have a new uh, smart device as well as all of their phones? Well, one of the announcements that came out uh, yesterday along with the phones was some new, uh, well, I guess the Galaxy Watch Active and Galaxy Fit wearables be coming out. Um, but it's so convenient that you mentioned the health aspects because it, they're saying that a research app, I'm going to quote VentureBeat here. That's the uh, article you're looking at right now if you're watching the video. Uh, a research app called My BP Lab will be released on March 15th, adding blood pressure monitoring in beta form for the U.S., U.K., Canada, Singapore, Australia, and Germany. Um now, there are uh, optical sensors on Galaxy S9 and Note 9 phones on the Android app version of it. Uh, but I'm, I'm kind of really curious to see how that, uh, that works out. Um, fairly powerful uh, bit of hardware inside of this. It's like a 1.1-inch screen, uh, no bezel, two buttons to the controls, uh, what, like a 1.1-inch touchscreen. Uh, Exynos 91110 uh, running at 1.15 gigahertz with 4 gigabytes of storage and 768 megabytes of RAM. So uh, I'm, uh, I'm curious to see uh, how that does. Um, and it's going to be about $200, which is a huge, huge drop in price from the Galaxy Watch, which is still around $350, depending on what you're looking for. Um, so... Uh, you know, I'm curious to see where this goes. I'm also curious to see if the blood pressure uh, monitoring works particularly well. So, yeah, especially at that stuff. price. Like, I would expect to see a lot more of these on people's wrists at $200, mm-hmm. especially considering how popular Samsung phones are. Like on the Android side, that's right. It's pretty much it here, anyway, here in the U.S. I don't know. I also wonder if people are a little, you know, after Pebble and some of the other stuff, if people are a little, uh, are a little uptight about investing in, in wearables at this point. But I also love the fact there's essentially an open source community developing on Pebble, but I won't go down that particular rat hole at the moment. <laughs> I'm loving this video uh, the- where the, the phone is charging the watch. Yeah. That must be this reverse wireless charging I heard about with the new phone. You can set your watch on the back Bloody of your charging. phone to charge your watch, which will theoretically deplete your phone battery. So then you'll have two devices with about 50% power that rely on each other. So that's nice. It's like symbiosis. 